Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a fun little project today. A customer of mine uh, gave me this simple little hand sketch and a bunch of these solid carbide uh, half inch diameter end mills. So what they're up against is this end mill is designed to cut about that deep. Well, they need to go deeper. And what they don't want is the shank where there's no cutting edges galling up the, their material. So what we're going to do is machine this little relief in here and that will allow them to cut deeper with this tool than it was actually made to cut. So we're going to be doing this work on the KOLE 2060 Universal Tool and Cutter Grinder in our motorized uh, work head. So the first thing I've done is I got my spindle running true to the ways of my table so that my wheel will contact the workpiece nice and squarely. And the next thing that I've done is I've used my height gauge to set the center of my spindle, uh, bang on to the center of my work holding fixture. I've reduced my speed way down here because diamonds on carbide like to go very slowly. It's super important if you go too fast with a diamond, you essentially will lose as much diamond off your wheel as you're taking carbide off the workpiece and that gets really expensive. So we've slowed this wheel way down. I've dialed my wheel in and uh, that's important because the, the wheel spacers don't, they're not a press fit. Everything's kind of loose. You don't want to press grinding wheels onto things. It would matter less with these steel ones, but you st we still don't do it. So what I do is I dial my wheel in so that one side of it's not slapping away at the workpiece. This way the whole thing will more or less be uh, contacting the workpiece and it'll keep my wheel round as well, which is, which is nice. I'm getting set up now to uh, set my end stops in place. The customer has specified that they want this clearance to begin at an inch and a half and they want it to end at one and seven eighths. So I'm going to set a stop that'll stop it here and another stop that'll stop it here. That way I can put the relief uh, exactly where they want it and make it the exact length that they want it. So during setup, uh, it became apparent very quickly that they didn't have an inch and a half worth of flute length uh, for me to work with, but I can get away with an inch and a quarter. So a quick call to the customer, explain the situation. Uh, they figure they made a typo or brain fart, whatever the case may be. So we've changed that dimension to inch and a quarter. Now we're all set up. We've got our inch and a quarter length here. And this brings us from the end to seven, one and seven eighths at the back side of the grinding wheel. Uh, everything's tight, everything's dialed, everything's straight. We've got the proper speed. We've got our dust collector on and so we're ready to go. How to go. So there's the first one done. Let's do that two more times. Before I took the last tool out, this is the second tool I have in here now. Before I took the last tool out, I just measured from the nose of my collet to the end of the tool. And so when I put this tool in, I used that same measurements and it was plenty close within a couple thou. So I don't even have to adjust my end stops. I can just get right to cutting. The zero I had set is probably still good too. So that just a little bit more time I'll save there. 
So I did touch off at the zero, now I'm going to give it some infeed and start going. Of course, I won't trust that, um, so I'm going to double check and make sure everything's right where I want it. So I'm hoping you can see this glare on the diamond wheel here what that means is that its pores are all plugged up with carbide and it's going to be generating more heat than it needs to be so what i do is i take a, a dressing stick that's a aluminum oxide dressing stick and i just rub it on there and you can see it's freshening up the surface of the wheel it's it's clearing out those pores it's getting rid of that shininess and uh it won't cut so hot now. Well, that's that job all done. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I know it was a bit of a quick one, but I was doing this anyways, and I thought I should share it with you guys. So till next time, uh, see you later, and please like, share, and subscribe.